Welcome to the video tutorial on creating a monkey log and a system log on your PC. Right now I'm doing this in Vista, but keep in mind in XP it's going to be pretty much the same process so you can follow along either way. So the first thing to do to create a monkey log is connect and power your Line 6 device and make sure of course you connect it via USB to your computer. Then run Line 6 Monkey. If you don't see the icon on your desktop, you can usually find it in your Start menu under Program Files, Line 6, and in the Tools folder. Once Monkey is running, you can see the you should be able to see your device. Um, right now, I'm using a Pod X3, and it should say Connection USB. And as long as that's the case, you can click the Monkey icon in the top left corner and select Diagnostics. It's going to give you a notification just letting you know that um, it's creating that log file so when you click OK it'll open the window um, as to where it actually saved the file and you can see the path name right here at the top. Now you can leave it right there if you know how to navigate to there when you want to attach it to a support ticket but I also like to move it to my desktop just because it's a little easier and quicker to find it there. So what I do is uh, I just drag it over to the desktop and to make a copy you can hold the control key on your keyboard. You'll see the little plus symbol appear over the icon. And that way you'll have the original um, in the same folder there, no matter what. And that's pretty much it for creating a monkey log. Now to create your system log, um, in Vista you're going to go to Start, Programs, Accessories, and you'll find the Run program right here. If you can't find it there for any reason, you can also type run into the search field here. And it finds it pretty quickly. And in XP, by default, usually it's right on your, uh, when you first hit the start button, it's usually right around here near your help and support, just on the right side, so it should be a little easier to find there. So once you run that program, you're going to type in msinfo32, and then click OK and that'll bring up your system information window. And now to save the file, you're going to go to File, Save, and make sure that this, the file type is going to be system information file, um, .nfo, and then of course just you know create a name for it, usually uh, using the date and uh, your username would probably help. And at the top here, you can actually designate where it's going to save it. Again, I have it set to my desktop so that I can find it really quickly when I want to attach it to my support ticket. And once you click Save, you'll see the progress bar appear. And this takes usually about two to three minutes. Um, I'm not going to wait here for, for, uh, for us to do that, so I'm going to pause this recording temporarily. So you'll see it suddenly jump, but uh, keep in mind it takes about two to three minutes to do that. And once that file is saved, you can close out of the system information window. And you should see it on your desktop right there. And like I said, usually we've asked you by this point to uh, attach this to our support ticket. Um, so if you need to need help with using the support ticket and doing that, please see the video tutorial on using support tickets. Other than that, that's pretty much all you need to do to create a monkey log or a system log.